Good morning, Springton Lake. Today is Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. Today is a day number two. At this time, would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A very good Wednesday morning to everyone. It's great to see you all today. I hope that you're all doing well and that you're ready for another great day. So today's yearbook day. So if you pre-ordered a copy of the yearbook, you're going to receive it this morning. Now, if you didn't order a copy, a limited supply will be available for purchase on a first come first serve basis for $30. If you would like to purchase a yearbook, you'll be called by grade level via the PA system later this morning. Now, if you have any questions or issues about your yearbook, you should see Mrs. Hemingway or Mrs. Snyder. Now, this afternoon, we'll be having our yearbook signing parties. Each grade level will have a half an hour time slot to enjoy some free water ice and a soft pretzel, courtesy of student council. And you'll also have some time to sign yearbooks. Seventh grade, your party will be during seventh period. Sixth grade will be during eighth period. And eighth grade will be during ninth period. You should report to class as usual, and then we'll call you to the party via the PA system at the appropriate time. I'd like to thank Mrs. Snyder and Mrs. Hemingway and the entire yearbook staff for all of their work on this souvenir of our very unique school year. Now, I have one final comment this morning about yearbooks. I know that you're going to be very excited to sign one another's yearbooks, and this is great. However, we are expecting that you will be respectful of anything that you put in another person's yearbook. Keep in mind that parents and family members are going to be looking through the book. So if you wouldn't want your parent to see or read what you've written, you shouldn't put that in anyone else's book. I know that I can count on you to be respectful to one another. Spirit Week continues today with our grade level color day. Remember, this is gonna be your last opportunity for you to earn points for your grade level as we prepare to crown the winner of our year long spirit competition. And anyone can still win, so keep bringing that positive energy and help your grade level to win a Sunday party next week for the entire grade level. The winner's gonna be crowned very soon, so stay tuned. Eighth grade students, have you RSVP'd for the eighth grade dance yet? Remind your parents to complete the Google form that's been in my Friday newsletter. We're up to 254 people who are attending. Now keep in mind, this event is for eighth grade Springton Lake students only. No outside guests and no students from other grade levels. The eighth grade recognition ceremony is also gonna be held this Thursday afternoon. Eighth grade students, remember, you're not going to be attending school in the morning, and there's going to be no required check-in for homeroom. Everyone is automatically going to be marked present for the day. You're going to report directly to Pencrest High School, no later than 1.15 in the afternoon on Thursday. Now, all of the details about the event were sent in a letter that I mailed to each of your families. The letter also included five tickets for guests. Please be aware that this information about Thursday applies only to our eighth grade students. Thursday is a normal day of school for all sixth and seventh grade students. All library materials are due back to the library today. So get those things out of your book bags, get them back down to the library so that our librarians can do that end of the year inventory. We have a few sports related announcements this morning. Attention boys track team members. Mr. Smith will be in the lobby after school today to collect your uniform. Please meet him to return your clean singlet and shorts. Any sixth or seventh grade boy interested in playing soccer for Springton Lake next year, there's going to be an interest meeting this Thursday during seventh period in the gym. Now, finally this morning, it's time for the answer to this week's Trivia Tuesday question. So here is my question. June 8th was National Best Friends Day. So in honor of the occasion, our trivia question was based upon the TV show, Friends. Despite being a great friend, 
the character Joey drew the line when it came to this. No matter what, Joey doesn't share this. So what is it that Joey doesn't share? Oh, thank God you're here. Listen to this. So Joey and my friend are out last night. They're having dinner. And she reaches over and takes a few of his fries. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you know about the, the, the plate thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Joey doesn't share food. I mean, just, just last week, we were having breakfast, and, and he had a couple of grapes on his plate. Wait, you wouldn't let her have a grape? Oh, no, not me. Emma. <laughs> Joey doesn't share food! <laughs> yes, the answer was food. So the first 10 people who submitted a correct response, you've received some bonus Spartan Bucks added to your live school account. Congratulations! Now we have one more Tuesday trivia contest coming your way next week to end the school year. Okay, Spartans, let's do this. Work hard today and keep showing that school and grade level spirit. Who wants a Sunday party? And definitely continue to be aware of your academic progress as we get closer and closer to the end of the school year. So if you still owe an assignment or you need to redo an assessment, get it done today. And of course, keep doing those things that help to keep us all healthy and safe. This means masking up, washing up, and backing up. This concludes our announcements for today. I thank you for your attention. And as always, let's make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.